For Maya Milliete's sister and brother-in-law, the search for answers into her disappearance led them here to Chula Vista Police Headquarters on Tuesday. They spent a good two hours inside and tell me it was time well spent. It went great. It went we great. felt relieved. We are very, very, we are very happy. It was a very productive meeting. Mary Chris and Richard Droule still don't know what happened to Maya, but they left police headquarters with a renewed sense of hope that for detectives, finding the missing mother of three is a top priority. We have a, a really confidence with the investigation now that they, we had this meeting. Maya disappeared from her Chula Vista home in January without a trace. Mary Chris helped organize multiple searches across the county, but so far there is still no sign of the missing 40 year old. Feeling isolated from police, Maya's family recently connected with former Oceanside detective Chris McDonough, who now works for the Cold Case Foundation. He helped build the bridge that led to Tuesday's meeting, and Mary Chris says his expertise has been invaluable. There are certain questions that are not an, uh, answered from, you know, the Chula Vista, and he explains it, why it's not, they can't answer that for now, but here's the reason why. Maya's family says some things said today need to remain confidential, but added that police did share with them more information about recent search warrants served on the Milietes' home, where police confiscated weapons belonging to Maya's husband, Larry. Mary Chris says police also agreed to be more open with their communication, leaving them with hope that they are closer to finding Maya. Their message to the community, they're not giving up and they hope you won't either. Please, please still help us, continue to support us. We'll find Maya, we'll, we'll bring her home.